Yo, what's up? It's Ryan, and uh, today I figured I'd walk through something I don't really see a whole lot of tutorials on, and that is uh, mixing a live track. Uh, there's a million tutorials on how to make like the Skrillex bass sound, or whatever, but there's n next to nothing on like rock music. So figured I'd give give whatever knowledge I have. To the general public. So uh, this is a track which is yet to be named and uh, it's gonna be a new solo project of mine so look forward to it. Um, links in the description obviously for my Bandcamp, Facebook, or whatever. Uh, but yeah I'm just gonna play up until like halfway um, so you can like listen to it. But yeah uh, Everything was made by me. Everything was written and performed by me, minus the drums, it's programmed, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, here we go. It goes like that for a little bit, then it gets to like a, a more rock part. Gets shreddy. And then it goes into like still driven, but kind of like combining the two elements. Uh, this track is like 90% done, done, dumb, uh, so it's obviously open to change and it probably will change quite a bit before the release date. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right in and uh, see how I got this sound. So um, uh, like I said, I'm using Superior Drummer, which is right here, I'm using Superior Drummer. And uh, I'll go... I'll have another video where I go in the detail about how I do all the like the routing and whatever. Um, it's it it's not complicated. It's just time consuming to go over, so I'm gonna not do it right now. Um, but Google it if you really want to know. Uh, for the kick, uh, I just have an EQ. Oh, well, first on the master, I have just like the smallest bit, or not the master, like the group. Um, I have the smallest bit of reverb just to give it like a live feel. Uh, I got a glue compressor just to like punch and whatever. A little bit of makeup, lower the threshold. Also got a Maximus uh, from ImageLine where I put the low end mono, or a little bit more mono, high end a little bit separated, uh, or mid, and then high end a little separated. And made a little separated, and then I boosted the compression a little bit. So, the kick is just a, like, a simple EQ. It's really nothing fancy at all. Uh, snares, these two combined. Um, for this one, I just have a reverb on it, and I don't actually have anything on this one. And this one's actually picking up a little bit of the kick too. So, there's that. 
um, I had just a little bit of reverb, uh, which you really can't even tell is there in the full mix. Like it's like super subtle. Um, for toms, I have an EQ. Oh, let me find. A really simple EQ, boost a little bit of lows, get them booming and whatever. Uh, for the room, I've got nothing. I just kept it straight. Uh, for the second room, I same thing. I just kept it uh, the same, but it, all together, it sounds like this. which to me is a pretty good like rock metal tone. Um, so I decided to go with it. I thought it worked really well. Uh, obviously tweak to whatever song or need you have. I will go into more detail about routing and everything over there some other time. Um, right here I've got this glockenspiel, which was super uh, like, situational to this song just because I wanted a glockenspiel with that melody I'll honestly probably end up like doubling a marimba with it or something but um yeah it's pretty basic I'm just using east west uh, goliath just a glockenspiel compressing it a little bit taking out the lows delay shimmer and I use this to uh automate the uh the volume. So yeah, uh, this actually ended up never getting used, so I'll just delete that. Um, but now, what actually matters uh, is a guitar. Uh, so for a lead guitar, I'm using bias effects. Let's give it a second to load real fast. And this is a, I know that this is a preset I found on like the tone cloud. Um, and that's just what I do. Uh, uh, it's called Swiggles Lead Clean. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's a really nice sound, I think. Uh, this is, I think the preset has reverb off, but other than that, it's default, like what it was. Um, sounds like this alone. For like a heavier part. Uh, sounds pretty pretty nice for um, like a digital amp. So there's that. Um, uh, I've just got this EQ boosting the high so it can cut out or cut through, uh, taking out the lows so it doesn't muddy up like the rhythm and the bass and everything. Um, in case you're wondering, um, using a PRS custom 30th anniversary uh, for my guitar. Um, it's a great guitar. Highly recommend PRS <laughs> in case you didn't already know they're like the best to me. Um, then I've got two tracks on that because in Ableton, when you record, it'll overwrite. Like, the, like if I were to hit record on this lead part. Uh, you can see that it overwrites it, so I have to have two lead channels, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Um, I've got this Rhodes, which is the, like, the old-timey jazz keyboard. Um, it's getting sent to the reverb channel, or reverb send, rather. Uh, it's, the source is Lounge Lizard. It's actually just the first preset that comes up, like the default one. Um, I love Lounge Lizard. It's just the best $200 I've probably ever spent. Um, so rhythm guitar, and like there's nothing going on with it. Didn't EQ it or anything. Uh, for rhythm guitar, whoops, got this. And and 
this is just, they're both super simple. Um, obviously they're both the same, like amping and guitar presets and everything. Um, this is actually the same patch as the uh, the lead, except there, the delay is turned off. Um, again, Swiggle's lead, <laughs> which I just found on Tone Cloud, which you can get to over here in this area. I'm pretty sure I just, so if you type in Swiggle's, right here. Um, so highly recommend it, it's really good. Uh, yeah, that's where I found it. Um, so it's just that I can't explain to you why like any of this is where it is because I'm terrible with guitar tones, but or like, creating them from scratch. But I can take them and <laughs> make them what I want, though. Uh, so yeah, those are just super default. I wanted kind of just like the guitar sound, like the PRS, um, and so I just left it untouched. Um, for bass, uh, I'm actually just using some old like $300 Squire, Fender Squire bass. Uh, sounds like this. Yeah, it's, it's bass. Um, again, using bias effects. Let it load for a second, sorry. And this is just bass 360. These are the knobs if you want to copy them. I'll make sure I'm still recording. Yep. These are the knobs on the base 360. There's the cab. Yeah. This one I actually did do it from scratch. And then I've got a compressor. Um, just super basic. It's, it's a bass guitar. And it's not metal. So, um, and I've got this EQ on it, which. kind of just takes out the highs so it doesn't mess with or the highs and mids so it doesn't mess with anything else in the mix um, then I've got Maximus to compress it and basically send it to mono uh, and spread out what little bit of highs there are mainly for the mids I guess um, and then it's compressing the volume so it's a more consistent uh, volume so because I played it with my fingers and I'm not as good of a bass player as I was like as I would like to be, so like the picking or the plucking velocity varied more than I was comfortable with. So I just kind of compressed it to make it a better performance, which cheated, but whatever. Um, the last thing we have are these clean guitars, and this is like the proggiest thing ever. <laughs> Just a hell of a lot of reverb, uh, but bias effects obviously because that's just what I use um, on guitar. It's a uh, factory low gain clean. I wish it would show me like the entire oh delay clean for delay is what I'm using, and then I'm pretty sure I just like boosted the time like a ton uh, it turned everything on and yeah it's just a preset basically and Valhalla Shimmer because without Valhalla um, I'm just going to do it on one but without it it loses just like a ton of atmosphere and space and volume uh, that comes from this shimmer. So I use this on guitars a lot and also like ambient glockenspiel stuff, obviously. Um, there's no EQ or anything because I'm pretty sure Bias already has, yeah, it already has a bit of an EQ dialed in and it works for me and fits in the full mix. So I just kind of stuck with it. Just in case you forgot, this is what the full mix sounds like. Uh, if I unmute everything. Yeah. 
So this track will be out eventually, like really soon, if I had to guess, um, under a new solo jazz project I'm doing because I want to separate my uh, electronic and live stuff. So um, yeah, it's really basic compared to like complex electronic music. I've only got 16 channels compared to like the 50 I have on my average electronic track. So it's a lot of fun though. And yeah, that is, that's it. Uh, check the links down in the description. Make sure you follow uh, all of the pages for uh, this music. And uh, yeah, check back for more how-tos on the other songs. And subscribe if you enjoyed. Like the video. Uh, and I'll see you, see you next time. Goodbye. If you, also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, peace.